Welcome to the River End Wild Wildo Show! Today we're looking for bugs in the heart of the rainforest. Actually, we're at the Victoria Bug Zoo on Vancouver Island. Well, we're in search of dangerous insects. Most of our insects are safe to hold. <laughs> Okay, but is mom going to hold the man-eating tarantula? She is venomous, but she doesn't eat people. And River, you're going to hold her. What? Watch until the end to find out what this is. And to see if we'll eat bugs. Aha, let's eat it. <laughs> oh, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Mm. You awake back there? Yeah. How's your breakfast burrito, Archer? Oh, so good, I put him to sleep. What if I put a worm on your nose? Or well, worse, in your belly button. Ah! Are you gonna lie down and let uh, fire ants crawl all over you? Oh, so tasty. Uh, nope. Hey, River, are you gonna hold the tarantula, buddy? Maybe. What if mom goes first? So if there is a possibility that this thing is venomous, I don't know that it needs to sit in my hand. We can risk River. I mean, we do have three children. That's a lot of children. Nope. 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 <laughs> and we're here. Hey guys, it's me, River. Let's go in and meet our hosts. Carly and Aaron. Perfect. You guys like bugs? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. You're going to see so many awesome bugs today. Does that sound fun? Yeah. Yeah. Can you hold the tarantula? Probably. Do you want to start the tour? Yeah! There you go. All right, let's go. I think we've just entered the world's coolest collection of living bugs. This is a leaf cutter's ant's nest. They collect leaves from one side of the zoo, build an ant carrying a leaf, and then carry it back through these tubes all the way to their nest, where they use it to grow fungus for food. Somewhere in there is the queen. So she's actually laying a baby every three seconds. That's a lot of babies. We won't be holding any leaf cutter ants because they could escape. But we will start by holding, ew, a hissing cockroach. Bug the bug. Did you hear it hiss? <laughs> oh. So he has these things called spear holes along his sides, basically little air holes. And those little air holes push out all the air in his body all at once. Mm. Do you want to hold one? Yeah. yeah. Hey, Wilder, well, why don't you go first? <laughs> oh, I think Archer's next. He's cool, hey, Archer? <laughs> it feels like ticklier and weird. We're actually enjoying this. Uh, Except for Dad. Oh, ah, ah. He's really active now. Do you want to see his tummy? Yeah. Yeah? There's his tummy. Wow, who knew cockroaches could be cute? Hey guys, it's me, Wildo. Millipedes, anyone? Millipedes are not venomous, oh. but you know what? They're poisonous. So. But that's okay. As long as we don't eat them, we'll be fine. Nope, I'm not eating that. So they might poop first, so we're gonna just... Oh, yeah, they did. We're gonna let it, let it poop. Let it poop. Curly. First. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, cool. Check out all the little grippy legs. So these are giant... Oh, sorry, I got poop on you. <laughs> uh, these are giant African <laughs> They are totally harmless. Oh, Doesn't that feel cool coming out of here? Who's that feeling, Archer? Again, again. <laughs> 200 legs. Oh, he's got a, here, go in there. That looks like a snow. No, no, no. <laughs> and when they come off, it feels like Velcro. Ready? As usual, that's a big wimp. Oh, no. Oh. When I peel it off, it'll feel even more like Velcro. Oh. <laughs> 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 so the, this is a female stag beetle, this little one right here, and this is a male giraffe stag beetle. Whoa. He's a grumpy one. 
Um, no, we won't be holding a stag beetle. However, we do take out their friend that lives inside with him. Do you want to meet the stag beetle's yeah, friend? The yeah, mantis. This is a praying mantis. Aren't some of them so big they can eat a bird? They, yeah, that is very true. Uh, can we hold it? Jump. There you go. We carry her. Ooh. I'll grab her before she gets too high, don't worry. It's fine with me. She has little high heels on. <laughs> yeah. I want him again. I want him again. Ooh. So do you see how she's looking at everyone in the eyes? Mm -hmm. That's because they can Ooh, actually recognize human faces. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, so she has the second best eyesight out of all insects. Oh. <laughs> she likes that. Yeah. It's time for the leaf insects. Can you spot it? That it is totally looking like a leaf right there. It's like going. <laughs> so it looks like we have a little hitchhiker. This is a juvenile leaf insect. They're very cute. That's what a baby looks like. Can Normally they're it? black. Could we? Oh, how cute. The females are a lot bigger. They're a lot sweeter. And also, they do not fly. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can put your other hand on top. So climb up your imaginary tree. And then you put your other hand up here. And, and then, then you, you keep know. doing that with your other hand out to like that. <laughs> Pretty sure this is a It is a Moth. Very good. Oh, uh, it's <laughs> I can take her. No. There you go. Good job. Hey guys, it's me, Ocho. Not all the bugs here are friendly. If you have a little UV light like this, you take the light. Oh wow, it is glowing. It's brutal. Shine it under the rock, Archer. Oh yeah. Wicked. So the it like has a purple. Oh, it works. We won't be holding a scorpion. But we can hold these creepy guys. These ones are called the thorny devils. So they're a part of the stick insect order of insects. However, they look a little bit different. So this big spiky on her bum, that is her ovipositor, or what we like to call her bum shovel. She uses it to shovel her bum deep into the ground, and then she lays an egg. What do you think, buddy? It's weird. These have little tiny thorns, and they're a little pokey. Doesn't, I can't feel anything. Yeah. I think we can cut the scary music. Now you have to Ooh. Ooh. Yep, I like this guy. Think they'll let me keep him? Oh wait, maybe River wants to eat him. And they're known as tree lobsters because apparently they taste just like lobsters. Of course they do. Okay, we're, we're gonna, you're gonna eat one, okay? No, 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 no. Okay, it's time for the tarantula. Um, River, I think you can take this one. So yes, they do have a little bit of venom, but to supplement that, they have things called urticating hairs. Oh, they pick them out and then they check it like a steel. Kind of, yeah. So they live on their bums, so if we look right here, she's got some on her bums. Technically, we can't see them with our eyes. If we had a microscope, we could see them though. Normally, we don't let kids hold tarantulas, but we've seen all the things that you've held on your show. And we're gonna make an exception. That being said, we're gonna take her out today. River, you're gonna hold her. You're gonna hold her. You're gonna put your hands just like this on your lap. We wanna keep them nice and flat because if we accidentally touch her bum, we might get those irritating hairs in our hand. Really oh, sting, no. it's just really itchy. So we wanna be careful. So don't yeah. touch her bum. Exactly, don't touch her bum. Ready? And if by, at any point you want me to take her off, just stand back, okay? He's doing it. He's holding a tarantula. Whoa, River. Isn't she beautiful? Yeah. What do you think, River? Cool. <laughs> Whoa, that is so cool. Now, do you see these two shorter legs in front? Yep. Those are her petty palps. So essentially, they're big old face forks. She uses them to help her eat. Have you ever high-fived a tarantula? Now, I'll bring her to you so you can stay right where you are. There you go. <laughs> okay, Mom, your turn. 
Mom's a little afraid. Thanks, there. Perfect. Dad's too afraid, as usual. What hey. is that face? We survived. Oh. But it's not over yet. I think it's time to eat some insects. We thank Carly for the tool and bought insect snacks. Sour cream and onion, salt and vinegar, bacon and cheese, cheddar cheese. <laughs> well, how about we get one of these to share? Hmm, how about candy and insects? Watermelon worm sucker. I'm getting a cricket. It's called a cricket sucker, and I'm not eating it. Are you ready to eat some crickets? Yeah! And first I'm going to eat some larvettes. I'm getting a worm snack. I'm going to have some of them too. So yummy. Aha, let's eat it. Wait, have you subscribed yet? My brother is going to eat a bug for you. Just click that little subscribe button. And wait. Thank you, and now let's eat some bugs. Okay, I'm gonna try these. Oh, Can I this please? feels nasty. It actually tastes pretty good. It looks weird, but it tastes good. Bad. <laughs> Here, you try. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, All right, it's cricket o'clock. Let's see it. You have to make sure it's safe. I don't want to though. <laughs> oh. Oh. It was kind of nasty. Mmm, good. It does taste like chicken. And the mystery is revealed. Ew. Suckle filled with ants. How are you going to escape those? Not bad. His head is right there. Oh yeah, Mmm, ant goodness. I have strategically chosen my sucker, <laughs> so I can steer clear of the cricket. Eat the cricket, Dad. <laughs> 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 Thanks for watching, everybody.